we were in the United States of America, we visited Cracker Barrel. A lot of you said we should have tried the Cracker Barrel Coca-Cola cake. So today we are going to go and get some ingredients so that we can go and make one when we get home. Are we looking forward to this one? Okay, join us when we go to Asda. Alana, are you ready to do some shopping? Are you on the phone? Oh, who's that? Yeah. It's Nana, is it? Okay, just had to Google it because bicarbonate of soda is what you guys call baking soda. Butter, Alana, can you scan that one? Thank you. Beep. 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 I'm gonna scan it. Beep. 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 The excitement of getting all of those ingredients was a bit too much for somebody and she's fallen asleep, bless her. In today's video we are going to be cooking... Do you know what we're cooking? If you look on the title it'll probably tell you but crack <laughs> Oh yeah. Cracker Barrel Coca-Cola cake. Cake. Hey, a lot of you said in the comments when we went to Cracker Barrel that we should have tried the Coca-Cola cake but we were just too full. Okay, so we were beaten. We're not doing a dessert. Somebody over here had two meals. I wanted to try the catfish. And? Greedy Pants two meals over here. Galana's already tucking in. Look at her. Check out this one. She's tucked into oh, the chicken nom, pot nom, pie. Nom. Is it okay. nice? <laughs> I had too much food so we thought that now we're back in the UK we'll try cooking it. Right, let's get hungry. So thanks to Darlene for sending across the recipe for the Coca-Cola cake. Now the first time you sent it, I couldn't actually access it. Oh. Yeah, because we're over here in the UK, some of the US sites get blocked. Ah, yeah, yeah, so like Netflix and yeah, things like all those kind of things. But thanks to Atlas VPN, I don't have a problem anymore. I can just quickly go onto the app and I can get any websites from all over the world and we can also watch some of the US cooking shows that we've been asking you guys for over on Netflix. So thanks to Atlas VPN, I can scroll through countless websites on my tablet, phone, the TV, wherever I want to do it. And just one subscription. Oh, wow. Yeah, so wow. I could be on my phone scrolling for recipes and you could be on the laptop or the computer. So I could watch First 48. You could watch my 48. And somebody just heard about Atlas VPN and being able to watch <laughs> it on any device. Yeah, but how much is it? So for just $1.83 per month, you wow. also get three months extra and a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you want to get that deal, click the link in the video description. Hurry, because it is a limited time offer. That's enough of our jibber jabber. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Now apparently, if you don't already know, this Coca-Cola cake is actually a close guarded secret of Cracker Barrels. So this is a copycat recipe. So if you have tried recipes like this before to try to make an authentic Cracker Barrel Coca-Cola cake and you've got a different recipe, let us know down in the comments what your recipe is or send it to us on our email address, mrhfriends at gmail.com. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have lightly greased my tin with butter. Now in the large bowl, I need to mix the flour and the sugar two cups of all-purpose flour going in. I am shocked about the amount of sugar that this tells me you should put in. Two cups of sugar. Now I weighed out two cups and I realised it's half a bag of sugar, which is a ridiculous amount of sugar if you ask me. Wow. We'll taste it, but I don't think anyone needs this amount of sugar. So there's the one cup. Okay, and there is two. I've not actually made a cake this way before, mixing like flour and sugar to start with, but I guess there's a reason for it. So now over to the saucepan and this is where the coke comes in. So in here I need to add the butter, the coca-cola, the vegetable oil and the unsweetened cocoa and bring it to a boil. Then we've got half a cup of butter, third of a cup of cocoa powder, that smells lovely. And then this is the bit that I'm quite excited about, it is the coca-cola because I've never cooked with coca-cola before so it does sound quite exciting. True to the recipe, I'm going full fat. One cup of coca-cola. I'm guessing this is going to go a bit like our version of treacle or something or like molasses because the coca-cola I think is going to be nice and brown and do that. Let's see. Oh look at it bubbling. So I was also told, Mr H, that Cracker Barrel started in Tennessee. But one thing that I was told by another subscriber of ours, which is Marsha, she said that a couple called the Shaws, the family, they started up a restaurant with a store which had kind of antiques and things, which is where Cracker Barrel got the idea for the country store. So apparently they kind of stole the idea from <gasps> the Shaw family. Let us know down in the comments below if you knew that story or if you've got anything to say on that to the contrary. 
I know this hasn't yet come to the boil, but it's not quite the consistency that I was expecting. It does smell blooming lovely. It is starting to bubble. That smells lovely. Okay, I don't want to burn this, so I'm going to take that as boiled. So we've got to pour this into the flour mixture and then beat it. Oh. That's getting thick now. Wow, I can smell that from here. Now I've got to add two eggs. Two. Half a cup of buttermilk. Make sure that's all out. We don't actually have many recipes over here that contain buttermilk, so it's a bit alien, all of this, to me. Bacon soda, one teaspoon. In we go. And then two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Beat for another minute on medium speed. Just gonna get everything around the edges. That does smell deluxe. I think anything with chocolate, to me, smells amazing. Now, I've got a confession. I couldn't find a 13 by 9 inch baking pan. So I am just going to use this slightly smaller one. It should give us the same area, so hopefully it'll be okay. Cool, look at that. <laughs> so this is going to go in the oven and I take it's going to raise? I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know how dense this cake's going to be. And that's why I decided to keep correct amount of sugar in there because mm. I didn't want to ruin the texture. I don't know if it's going to rise or if it's just going to compact and go a little bit dense and gooey. I don't know. I know you can't smell it at home, but this smells lovely. And if you are drooling as much as I am, let us know by liking this video because I cannot wait for this. Got visions of me dropping this as I go to the oven. Might still happen. 30 minutes and we'll be getting that bad boy out and adding some frosting. Okay, so we've got about 10 minutes left on the cake and we're gonna start making the frosting because you've got to put the frosting on the cake quite quickly. So in here we have got our butter, our cocoa powder, and I'm just adding quarter of a cup of Coca-Cola. It says to bring this just before a boil. We've got about six minutes left on the cake, so let's hope this butter melts quite quickly. I'm gonna just let that do its thing and check on the cake. Right, let's have a little see. Oh, it's rising nicely. Oh, wow. It does still look a bit gooey in yeah. the middle, so I'm gonna pop that in for a little bit longer. We still have four and a half minutes. So I've got to finish the frosting off. It's come to a nice little boil. The cocoa's melted with the butter and the Coca-Cola. So it's ready to now be mixed. So I've got three cups of powdered sugar ready to go in this bowl. That looks bloody amazing. Well, that is now ready to go on the cake, so we need to check back with that, because we've literally got 15 seconds left on the timer. <gasps> Quick! What's happened is the dimensions of this is slightly different, so it needs a little bit more time, hence the boil on the top. What we're going to do is we're going to add it all together and then do a taste test. While we're serving this all up, Alana's going to be doing some colouring with crayons and a book that was kindly sent to us by one of our amazing patrons, John Farmer from Texas. It does say in the recipe to poke a few holes in the cake, which I'm going to do now. I don't know if these are big enough holes, but it also proves that it is now cooked. And now I need to pop this on top, but the purpose of popping the holes in was so the frosting can actually soak through. So it just says to spread this on top. Oh, wow. So I'm just going to do that. That's like chocolate overload, isn't it? Well, it might be. Well, Mr. H, this is an adaption or similar to Texas Tree Bake. I think that's what they're called. Let me know down in the comments if it is at all similar, because I've not tried Texas Tree Bake, and how a Texas Tree Bake differs. Okay, we probably have a bit too much frosting, seeing as I put it in a smaller dish. We just need to let that cool down. Look at that. So we will see you once this has cooled down. The cake has cooled down. Cracker barrel, Coca-Cola cake. So the frosting went everywhere, as you can see. It's fine, isn't it? As long as it goes, ends up in the mouth, that's all that well, matters. I'm gonna go here. 
I'm gonna oh. use a knife because I'm not sure how well this is gonna come out. Let us know in the comments below if you had this from Cracker Barrel and does it vaguely resemble what you had? This looks amazing. But again, I do need to stress there's a lot of sugar in this. For that reason, I might not give any to Baby H because... She's got to go to bed soon. <gasps> so she can have a little bit of it. Well, look at... <gasps> wow, that is heavy. It's gooey, but it's thick and it's dense. Is it warm? Yeah, you just basically described everything. Heavy, thick, dense, warm, squishy. Squishy? We need some ice cream, Mr H. Oh, ice cream as well. I'm just going to... Give yeah. you a little dollop. Wow, this is a, looks... actually a really big slice. I yeah. thought that I was cutting quite small, but <laughs> really not. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go. I've not got a lot of ice cream. I'm going to get a little bit of ice cream. I think the frosting is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've got much frosting. Get some frosting. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> That's really nice. Oh. I'm going to let her have a bit before I have a second. Look, she's already taken her dummy out, what she calls her yummy. Let us know in the comments below if you think Alana's going to be sleeping tonight, because I don't think she is. What do you think? <laughs> is it nice? How many out of ten? Mama. Mama made a good cake. <laughs> okay, I'm going in for a second piece. <laughs> You've got to have a bit of everything. It's, it's really strange because it's really dense and thick and heavy. Mm, but, but it doesn't light. taste like it, does mm. it? No, it's chocolatey but not too chocolatey. And it's not too sweet either. I wouldn't think there's a half a bag. For any Brits washing, half a bag of sugar in yeah. this cake, half a bag. <laughs> Obviously somebody likes it. I don't want to give her too much because it is bedtime. The reason the Coca-Cola is in there is because it intensifies the taste of the cocoa, apparently. Mm -hmm. So it makes it taste more chocolatey. Well, it works. Oh. oh, I feel like I'm home now. This is like, cheer me up food. Comfort food, mm. yeah? Yeah, yeah, comfort food. Of course it is, Mr. Rose. They just hit every mark. Again, density, but it's not too thick and heavy. Lovely texture, nice and sweet. For me, nine and a half out of 10. Mr. H? For me, I love the texture because it is dense, full on, but not heavy. It's very fluffy still, isn't mm. it? The frosting oh, is it's really a, nice. It's the best. Not too sweet. I was actually surprised. Mm. I thought it was going to be really sickly sweet. I thought I'd have one mouthful and wouldn't want to eat the rest. I love chocolate. Come on, get to the point. Ten. Ten? Ten. Wow. I, I really, 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 really like that. This is brilliant. Guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Do it. Grab the big deal because Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month with three months extra and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get many benefits of Atlas VPN for the ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking the link in the video description below, but be quick as it's a limited time offer. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. See you all in the next video.